Here we go with our second match of the of the uh, night. This is more of a pay-per-view quality match, if anything. But does be said he wanted a warm-up? What better than the man who is challenging for the champion of champions championship? The man who is putting his spot as the leader of the gentleman's club on the line. It's all or nothing between Alexander Leonardo Davidson and Clark Oliver Morrison, but this will be also got a big match ahead of him looking to become the first ever or I should say yeah the first ever five time champion but also the first ever five time United States champion looking to break his own record coming up on the weekend but the question is who deserves that Monica more who shall reach the fifth championship in their career? There is only a handful of people in NCW who have held four titles in their career. That being Alexander Leonardo Davidson, Dizzle B, Lucha Rainbow, Kenny Omega, and Christina. All of them holding four titles each. However, Lucha Rainbow cannot compete for the light heavyweight title anymore. Kenny Omega cannot compete for the world title anymore. Christina cannot compete for the women's title at the moment. Well, I should say they can't compete for the belt at the moment. Anymore. But yeah. But... What I'm saying is, this will be Alexander Leonardo Davidson. They both have an opportunity to create history. Also, Malik Ladan's in that list. Two time United States champion, one time Intercontinental, one time tag. And here we go. Irish Rip into the corner. This will be maybe looking German. No luck there. Alexander now up, has him up on the shoulders. Oh, tilt the world power bomb off the torture rack. Uh. Oh, just smashing his fist into the side of Dizzlebee's head. We haven't seen Dizzlebee since he lost the United States title. We haven't seen Alexander since he lost the champion of champions championship. Oh, double stump to the gut. Oh, big knee drop across the throat. And remember, Alexander's not done tonight. He still has to call out the other, one of the other members of the Gentlemen's Club. One, two. He was betrayed by Clark Oliver Morrison in the Elimination Chamber at NCW Revolution. There was a lot of betrayal in that chamber. Well, more so that Clark Oliver Morrison never gave back the championship. He knew the rules going in. Oh, face buster.
As for Dizzle B, he's got one hell of a card. I mean, one hell of a match to look forward to, but he doesn't even know how many competitors are going to be in it. Excluding himself, he has Drew Kennedy, the man who defeated him. He also has Malik Ladan, who has yet to cash in his US title rematch. Oh, golden super kick. He goes for the cover. One, two. No, this will be able to kick out. Also, he has David Lance Harrison. That's that's the fatal four way. But if Steven wins in the United States title match, that makes five. And then in that fatal four way. Oh there it is. The million dollar flash. One two three and like that alexander moving on to his championship match as i was saying this will be he could end up with three opponents or he could end up with five opponents we don't know until a little later tonight but what we do know alexander is determined to get his title back and we, we normally see Dizzle B fight in about 15, 20 minute matches. I wonder, has he not recovered from his beating from Drew Kennedy? But look at that golden cutter and that is it. One, two, three. Well, three now, but yeah. Alexander. It's all about that money, 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 money. Speaking of money, I don't know where he pulls that from, but it, what I do know is you don't want to eat it. I mean, unless he's pulling it out of his um, knee braces or his boot. That's one thing, but if he's pulling it out of his jocks, that's a whole different story. <laughs> 